Right, first of all, I'd like to apologise to all my subscribers. This camera's shaking a bit, I apologise for that too. Um, I did upload this video of going through the Hornby's 2019 range, but uh, the file was on portrait and I didn't like it, so I had to scrap that video. And also, another video I made when I went to Alexander Palace. I picked up some models and I made a video then. Uh, that file was corrupt, so I'm going to have to remake that too. Um, updates on Twitter about it, I have like mentioned about it, but I really do apologise about that. I had to pull the video down, I wasn't happy with it. I really can't wait to get back to normal with the computer and I can use my proper camera. I've got a few cameras. And again, I, I did, in the other video, I did show or well, I did make a video of some of those cameras as well in the Alexander Palace video but never mind I have to redo that again obviously that was ages ago now that was March Alexander Palace you know now we just come back from the uh, Easter break from the Easter bank holiday and then a week later, because my daughter wasn't very, very well, so she was off, off school, so I had to look after her, so I was unable to do some recording. So now, I've finally been able to do some recording. So, let's get straight to it, shall we? Um, hopefully I'm just rabbit on a bit, sorry, but next year I think I'll do this, I'll do it in the new year. I should have done this in the new year, in January, when... Hornby announced their 2019 range. And we're just going to have a quick flip through. Obviously, there's the uh, Collectors Club. I do recommend it. It has improved from previous years. And there are special models that you can purchase for the Collectors Club. I still haven't done it myself, actually. I think I might, might actually do that after I've done this video. <laughs> So we go for the contents and the uh, basically the era. So it's the era system. So it's basically a key, so you can work out on exactly which era you you want to work in. Obviously, mine's mainly I I do basically grouping all the way to present day. I haven't got some pre grouping. I might have some models for pre grouping. It's all to your taste. I'm mainly BR. That's my preference. But I do have a lot of modern day stuff. Which I haven't shown you. You know, that's new for me. Just to do some reviews basically. Some of them I'll sell on and some of them I'll keep. I can't stick to one, one era, I'm afraid. Although, you know, a couple of louts. I'll build a few louts and I can have different, you know have them built in different eras who knows oh yeah the junior set i still need to do the review of that i have got it well it's my daughter's present she plays with it quite regularly and it keeps it keeps her calm she loves it to bits every time i get it out if she's having a meltdown i get it out set it up and run it she calms straight down the Paddington Bear one, I might review that. My daughter will probably want to keep it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think I have put, yeah, I've put obviously I've got that set, and obviously, oh, yeah, the uh, Hornby Santa Express again. I have already got it. I need to do, I've up, I've done a review, I was supposed to upload it ages ago. I did it in my old place, so um. You just have to ignore it's in my old place. Um, I'll get round to doing that for Christmas this year, hopefully. I might even get the new one as well. I might even make a new one and upload two of them. See how different. I think this one's got a section of two straights in it. And the wagons are a little bit different. I might do that. We'll see. A lovely basic, well, a starter set, a very basic starter set. It's good. 
And there's quite a few models I want to get. And there's that nice set. There's a, obviously, they do the uh, 040 a lot in some of their starter sets. I'm definitely going to be getting that. So hopefully I'll do a review of that. Again, I'll definitely be getting that. I want to do a review of that. Flying Scotsman, that's a classic, obviously. I do recommend it. I already have a Flying Scotsman in different different liveries. And again, the Mallard Pullman, that's a classic as well. Two classics on, on these two pages. Highly recommend. Eurostar in the more modern livery. Ah, and look, a railer. Something handy to help you put on rolling stock. My daughter struggles with putting the rolling stock on the track. And I did suggest to Simon Kohler, the marketing manager of Hornby, because obviously he's back and he's back doing his job at Hornby now. Um, I did actually have a chat with him. And there's a picture of me actually talking to him from the BRM when they put it on, uh, on their website. So there is a picture. I did tweet it. So it was me chatting to him about including a railer in some of the sets to help younger children put the rolling stock on the track. And he has taken in my input on this and he does, he sees where I'm coming from on it. So yes, hopefully. In some of the sets he did say he put them in, so we'll have to wait and see on that one. Quite a few sets and obviously I will get some sets and I might sell them on. Oh, look at that set. It's a mixed, all oh, right, it's a new one. Somerset Bell, obviously, uh, I like the S&D. Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway. My family worked on this railway, so it means a lot. And that gives you a clue into the future layout I'll be building. Going on about research. Oh, Hornby's Harry Potter. I mean, I might get that, I might do a review of it. Just let me know, um, leave comments below if you want me to review it. Just any set you want me to review or any loco, just please leave your comments down below and I'll see what I can do. Some of them I won't be keeping, I'll just sell on. I have already got a lot in my uh, collection already, so some of it I need to sell on and get new stuff. Uh, some of it I won't sell on, obviously. Yeah, railroad range. What we got in the railroad range? And some of the uh, the uh, R numbers will have TTS, so I'll do donate whether it's got sound. Some of them will have a prefix of an X next to it, which will make it DCC fitted. Okay, so there's some newer things that Hornby are doing. Quite a few classics here. If you want to buy, purchase a single loco, I do recommend this one. Uh, costly boiler. I have one. I have to do a review of that. I do recommend it. it. Doesn't the picture doesn't do it justice? I'm afraid. Loads of them. I do have a few of these models. You have to keep your eyes out. And obviously they've done a railroad uh, HST. Class 43 there. A few 59s. Yeah, if you're looking for a budget loco, the railroad range, I do recommend it. Plus for professional modellers, you can get yourself a cheap model and work on it. Do all sorts. There's a few models i got. So I've got, I'm going to turn into projects. It's rolling stock for the railroad range. I have to go through this a bit quicker. Ah, I need to get some of them for a local I have, and I have some of these already. But I might get another pack. I don't know. Let's see how we go. Basic uh, rolling stock train packs. Ooh. Got a Peckett, I like that livery. Look at that. Queen of Scots train pack. 
Lyme Regis branch. Uh, I think Hattons are doing an offer on that one. It's worth shopping around, you know. So many. Ah, that I definitely got to get. I think I will be getting my hands on that pretty soon. Quite a few. Quite a few. Unless the LNER livery of the uh, class 800 Hitachi is a bio uh, mode loco, it can run on, it can run on uh, overhead, it can run on diesel. Pretty good, clever. Uh, I will be getting one, but not in the LNER livery, I don't think. Obviously, some of them marked off that I've already got. Her up, Lord Nelson, and the Ali Pali show. That's what the video was about originally, and then it got corrupted, so I have to remake it. But yes, I, I already have a have a few locos that I need to review. Oh yeah, um, the uh, vented van with sounds. Oh yeah, decoders. I'm gonna get a load of them as well. That's pretty good. Locomotive in like an exploded form, showing you all the details. My favourite class of loco. This is my favourite loco, a Britannia, a Britannia class loco. I have a few of them. We get a few more as well. Um, yes, sir. Uh, there's some of the special collections, one on one collection. Hornby have got the stored at their premises in Margate in the old factory. Ooh. Some other packs I have to go a bit faster, I'm afraid. Oh, yes, and I'll definitely be getting Princess Royal when it comes out. And yes, uh, a few of these Princess Coronations, there's, there's one of them I'm going to be getting. A fours, more Britannias. I like my Britannias. Here are some uh, Merchant Navies in original condition. Still could get my hands. I've got one, but I haven't got it with me at the moment. Just need to pick it up. There was it, Lord Nelson's. Other Lord Nelsons. I just need to get a bit comfortable. Some Kings. Again, I have a few. Need to do reviews. A lot of reviews to do. My legs in the shot. It's quite warm actually, so I'm in my shorts. The weather's been pretty good actually. After the storm that we had. Yes. I absolutely love it. This is just a quick flick through. Most of you have probably seen it. I'm just having a quick flick through. There's a lot of locos I haven't marked off in this book that I want to get. I'm trying mainly concentrate on new tooling. Because there's a, there's, I'm going to get all the new tooling. Yeah, here you are, talking about new tooling. Large Prairie. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting, I think about two or three of these brand new ones. I already have the old tooling that Hornby brought out in 99. It was from the Airfix tooling. So I do have one of these models. I bought it in uh, 99. 1999. <laughs> And now they've retooled it. Oh, I can't wait for that. It's a lovely loco. It's got different different uh, guises as well. 5101, 6100, 3100, straight 5100. XX. Yes. And there is one more loco I need to pick up. Looked at it there. 
in the trio. A few locos. There's lots of them. Ah, there's a new Peckett B2s. If I get a good price, I'll get one. Ah, yeah, obviously. And again, at the Ali Pali, I picked up a Terrier, which is that one right there. Um, yes, it's quite a nice model, actually. I will also be picking up Rouser Sheffield's version as well. That's what I've decided doing. And the price, I would say Hornby's good for the price. But Rouser Sheffield, I think, just cuts it from what I've seen. And then you've got different A1X, A1 design. So you've got the original. Yes, definitely more packets. Got to love this. Class 43 HST, oh yes, I'm definitely getting one of these, Class 60, I haven't got a Class 60, never ever owned a Class 60, I'm going to crack that, it's the one I'm looking at anyway, that, I like it in the rail freight sector livery, oh look, Hornby's Class 66, thinking about getting a couple of them, I don't know yet, looking at Hattons but for the money again Hornby do a good model you can work on it so many models I will be getting a class 67 but that will be in a different livery you'll be more on that to come actually that's another model I've got to pick up uh, yeah I've got a few of these already 153s I think I might have did a posted a picture on Twitter about it. I don't know. I've got some sentinels as well. I have a sentinel. R and H limited forty eight DS. Okay. These are really small. Might get it, not gonna keep it. There we go. It's the GWI livery of one I want. Yeah, we've got some uh, two Helm, two Bill. I think that's a two. There's a combination of Helm Bill one. I do have one of them. Can't remember which one I've got. I need to review. There's so many I've already got. I need to review. I really am behind. Yeah, some rolling stock. Go on to the rolling stock. I've got a vast collection of rolling stock. There's so many, huh? When it gets, I might get them in the, I might get them in second hand because they did originally bring some out. Well, I call it fifty-seven bowed in. 57 foot. So these are the, uh, I think they're non corridor. I already have a set of the corridor ones. Might do, might not. I don't know. When money permits, funds permit, and availability, uh, availability I will definitely be getting some bullets. That is a must. There's quite a few bullets. Uh, rolling stock I need to get. I've already got some but from the Backman range, but Hornby are doing some. Some mantles. I have a load of mantles. As I'm win. I need to complete the Mark 1s. Obviously I want to make a rake of Mark 1s that will run in in a in a set for a named train i'm going to name it anyway it's the pines express and obviously the the patterns and places are doing these uh 
basically they're doing these uh, things in the like pull outs and basically it will show you named trains and what rolling stock they'll run with and obviously where you can put purchase from from uh, Hornby or Backman you know so you can make up a realistic train <laughs> which yes I, I do want to do for the Pines Express I do already have the headboards and the name boards and everything I already have some of the rolling stock I need to get a bit more it run on yes and Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway you see so I already have the restaurant car to go along with my mounts with running stock push pull sets I did do it did see a push pull set in a video I might I'm on about getting another one as well so so here we are Hornby's Mark 1's not bad for the price can't knock Hornby for the price on these especially as Backman have keep knocking their prices up and the, these are relatively new tooling but Backman and keep knocking the price up on their Mark 1's that they've had for years I think it's a little bit cheeky but hey ho if I can't buy it I'll make it I'm sorry if I want a model and I, uh, it might be an expensive way around but if I really want it, we could put our hands together, go and make it out of brass etched materials and build up your skills from doing that as well. Or modify a, a ready to run model. A lot of modelers do do it. There are a lot of tutorials on, on uh, YouTube, which I have watched. And I do watch a lot of you guys' videos. And yes, uh, a lot of good content you produce it. And I hope to join you in this as well. Instead of this shoddy content I'm doing at the moment. Uh, with a shoddy camera. Rip. Jiggering about whilst I'm holding it. <laughs> I will get back on my feet, hopefully. It's just a lot of things to do. Wagons. Lots of a whole plethora of wagons, there's loads of them. Private owner, mainly. Call me like private owner. I already have that one. My initials. <laughs> and I already have collected a lot. There's lots of, and there's lots of um, videos I'll be making out of some rolling stock I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up to scratch. You can run with certain trains. A lot of rolling stock. I have to go through it and, f and photograph the whole. I'm, oh, this is another thing. I'm doing going through my locos, which is exhausting, and obviously my uh, passenger rolling stock. But God, I'm not looking forward to doing wagons. <laughs> so many of them, and they are all different uh, ages. You know, from from the seventies and some from. The 60s, you know, there's loads of them to go through that I have. It's going to take forever in a day, but it needs doing. I am working my way through it slowly. That'll be all going on the database, and then we're all going for the website. The website's coming on really well. Near, nearly ready to go live, but I won't be able to do, open up the shop yet. I need to get a PO box, PO box address. And plus I need to do that for um, my competitions. I will be doing some competitions, so keep your eyes peeled on that. Once the PO box is ready, and then I'll be able to do competitions. A lot of things to do. Uh, I've got a lot of models that I can afford to give away. You know, prizes. I just want to try and get my uh, subscribers to engage a bit. I am a bit behind on my um, responding to comments. I do apologise for that. I have been pulled up on it by some uh, subscribers already. Ah, yeah, Hornby's Rolling Road. There's quite a few. Yeah, Railmaster, obviously, I think they hear about that you can use this cable to connect the select and you update the. Uh, you update the. Um, 
software or something on it. I haven't looked into it, as from what I've heard anyway. Rail, rail packs, track packs, I mean. Again, I might be doing a video, basically where we start from the beginning with a train set, and then I'll buy these separate track packs, and then we build a layout together. The basic one. That one. All the different uh, size set track rails, and obviously here's some flex track, which I already have. I have lots. Mate, I have many Pico though. And Hornby are uh, reintroducing uh, their flock range. They did have it previously. Oh, there's some more basic platforms, which I'll probably get from the basic train set uh, model railway, which I'll build. Lots of model railways. Obviously, my daughter will be using that layout once it's built. That's my plan. There's a few layouts I've got to build. Built up my track collection quite a bit, so I can do it. Obviously, the, prof the proper layout would have uh, Pico Flexi Track and Pico. I don't know, in some insole frogs and ele Electro Frog. Lots. I've already got some of the track already. Just building it up, you see, as and when. Oh, yeah. Obviously, Hornby reintroduced their Scout Autos. So, we're going through that. People and trees, scale scenics that they've reintroduced. Some more flock. Weathering powders. I already have a lot of weathering powders and paints. I still need to get a few more to add. And obviously, there's a bit about Hornby magazine. See, it looks like Hornby magazine and Hornby hobbies are working on a lot together in producing uh, some magazines. And there's the index. So you look up back. Oh yeah, and this is very interesting. Hundred years, hundredth anniversary. So 2020 will mark the hundredth anniversary of Hornby. Double O that is, Hornby Double O. I really can't wait to see what Hornby bring out in 2020. And, that, and to mark a, such a monument anniversary, I reckon they're gonna do, hopefully they'll do something big. So I am looking forward to next year. It's going to be really big. I'm looking. It's really, you know, it's, it's loads of things going on at at the moment. And they're getting back on track. And talking about back on track, and I said about Hornby magazine. I won't go through this now, but I have posted on Twitter. It's basically the history in a bookazine, magazine, whatever you want to call it basically on Hornby Hobbies in a whole. So it's trains, you know, the ethics range, the uh, scale electrics, everything. So everything that comes under the Hornby Hobbies banner, you know, even the humble paints, you know, so it all comes under Hornby's, Hornby Hobbies. And yes, it shows ex extensively and talks about the history of basically how Hornby purchased Airfix range and other other uh, brands, and put it under the Hornby Hobbies banner. So yeah, it's rather interesting. I haven't read it fully yet, and I've only haven't had it that long. I've been reading other uh, magazines, BRM and Hornby Mag. So I've got to catch up. I've read some of it. So there's a lot to get through. <laughs> so yeah, this video is going on quite a bit. So yeah, so hopefully I'll be going getting the other video uploaded and remaking that and hopefully soon we'll be going back to normal so thank you for watching and please comment down below and please subscribe i'll catch you all later bye